All right. So again, unlike the other uh, warehouses, they, they normally have those big port doors to be able to open up to bring in large crates in. This is a regular size door, so it doesn't really fit the size of the building. Uh, knocking on the door. There's a bit of a moment, and then uh, when the door opens, it looks like some kind of Kalashite man in very odd sort of uh, plate mail. And he looks at mm-hmm. like he goes, are you looking to come in? Yes. All right, right this way, and he just steps aside and he motions you inside. Oh, that was easy. I was, about to, I was about to say something else that would have ruined that encounter. <laughs> oh, man. So, so did we all went with him? Uh, hey, yeah. he down, goes, are you all with him? Please, please, come on. I guess we could go in then. Yeah, um, is Fade with us? I'm, sure. Yeah, if, like, did I see anyone following them or us? Mm-hmm. Yes? yes? Oh, no, I mean, he, like, following, like, Fade <laughs> following you all. No, oh, yeah, but, but, did I see anyone else following us? No, you yeah, seem to be alone. For them. Yeah, <laughs> yes, then I'm with did. them. <laughs> All right, so when you step inside, yeah, it, sure. doesn't, it doesn't open up into a big expanse of a warehouse like you'd be expecting. Instead, it opens into a very small, um, almost cramped sort of room. Oh, and inside no. the room, there are three other men with the same kind of gear that this one has. And the way that the armor is strange is... Um, it is plate mail, and there are other little bits where they have, like, um, like cloth hanging out of it. But it has this strange kind of uh, glint to it, and it keeps catching your eye. And no matter where you look, you, you always just seem to be looking right back at that armor. And uh, the guy steps forward, and he goes, okay, so usual, usual procedures, we need your armor and weapons. I cast a detect evil spell. I mumble a bit. They are not evil. Excellent. Mm. Mm-hmm. And I go, if you need any help, we'll... Be glad to assist anyone in any uh, heavier arm. Uh, I guess <laughs> I, I step forward instantly and I give my rapier and I... Like, daggers. Like, yes. Right. I give uh, them also longsword and dagger, but I keep my shield and my breastplate on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's on my back. <laughs> the man that was speaking before just stands there with an open hand and goes, Sir, I'm going to need that armor. That breastplate? Everything. It's not armor, it's clothing. <laughs> we have spare robes if you need something. But we're going yes, to need that. that would work, because I have to hide my feathers. Mm-hmm. This is like a big deal. I also have a change of clothes if you want. Yes, I'm sure they would fit and look down at your size <laughs> like... Mm. It's like a dress. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I, I would like that very much. I like the pink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Don't think it's pink. Mm-hmm. All right, so what, as they give you the clothes, I, I, I also hand over my uh, my great axe, my javelins, and my dagger. I don't really have armor. Am I able to uh, to convince them though that I can keep my staff for walking since I'm old? <laughs> How old is your character? Like fifty-two. Hang on, let me look it up real quick. Yeah, yeah he's fifty-two. Oh, they do oh, seem pretty oh. concerned, but um, they go, well, here, how about this? And they walk in the back room, they come back with another bit of wood, and they go, here, we'll give you this one. Okay. I, mean, I guess that's fine, but it's kind of like a tiny piece of wood for such a large door. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but we have to make there. sure everyone stays safe here. Oh, of course. I would never plan on harming anybody. It's just I, I have trouble walking in my old age, you know. Mm-hmm. This staff was a gift from a very long-lost friend. I would hate to part with it. Well, if you'd like, we could have one of our men assist you. Would go, please don't worry. All your equipment would stay safe with us. But if you need someone to lean on or to help walk with, we can spare a man. Mm-hmm. Do we have to give them, like, leather armor? Everything. They want you right down to your cloth. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> this is, is like a different sort of command post. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> Like how do they how do they check that we gave everything? Are they just trusting us or um, once they get patting the, us down? Well, if you're yeah, down once you get the equipment, they start they get right down to the breech cloth and they do a quick little pat down. Uh, they, you do notice as they do the pat down, they kind of turn your wrist over. They're checking to see if there's any marking cool. on you. I mean, yeah, okay, I give up everything as well then. They're gonna be really confused when they go through our bags when we're gone and they see the dismembered arm in there. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I make sure to, well, I guess, yeah, I make sure to like hide the Jambia dagger, put it in like the bag when no one's watching or something. 
Like I just want to hide from the other people, not the. Okay. Maybe I like put it together with my other darts and daggers, and it's like in the middle, and I squeeze it in. Okay. Um, after you get I all mean, their equipment and they move it off to another room, they come back did, and they're like, "Yeah, did they also take my violin?" Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> no. Every little bit of equipment, anything Medicare. that's not cloth, they're gonna take. All right, I'll just wear a tunic then, mm-hmm. and they come and back heavy and boots. Mm-hmm. And they come back and they go. So, one more thing, we want to make sure we're not going to alarm you. We're going to cast a little bit of a detect magic spell. Make sure you don't have anything else on you, and then after that, you're free to go in. Are you all okay with that? Holy crap! That's nice. Of course. All yeah. right. So one of them starts chanting. You see him just uh, move his hands around, and he seems to focus on each of you individually. And after a minute or two, it goes. They're fine. They can go. And the man uh, steps up to the. A larger door on the opposite side of the room. He goes, well, I hope you all enjoy your time, and once you come back, we'll uh, help you re-equip. And he opens the door, and he ushers you through. Mm. These guys look sincere and kind of almost friendly, right? Like, they're not as shady evil. as... <clears throat> they're, they're, the way they're they treating us, shady. they're really friendly. Yeah. <laughs> Overly friendly. <laughs> You know, a couple of crossbow arches. Sometimes like, non-evil people can do evil things. Yeah, I guess you're right about that because you are not evil. Yeah. Um, yes, and I once killed a man. <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. Let's I get mean, our I'm, answers here. I'm not kidding. <laughs> once that door opens, he starts ushering you in. You're just assaulted by the sheer amount of uh, scratching noises you hear. Just like thousands of little uh, like fingernails against a wooden table. Just hundreds and hundreds of that noise. And when you head through the doorway, you start understanding what that noise is coming from. It's just from about 20 feet from that doorway, as far as you can see into the building, is scribes at tables. Just writing very quickly down on bits of paper. When they're done, they put it on top of their desk. A bird will come down, pick it up, and fly off with it. And there's just birds everywhere coming and going. It's a little bit like the Harry Potter scene in the Great Hall when they're eating dinner and the bird, the owls come in to drop mm. out packages. Just hundreds of these birds going in and out like a like a manufacturer line. And at the very mm. front, just a couple of feet away from the doorway, is a little bit of a desk. And there's a man standing behind it. He's also in the same kind of cloth robe that they gave all of you. And um, he's just smiling and waiting expectantly for you to come over. I'll walk you... over. Yeah. Uh, did we have to say that who sent us? Like, or did the did the Asir no. say? No, right. At no <laughs> point they even seem concerned that uh, you knew where the building was. Very good, <laughs> old man. Greetings. I'm Valerian. These are my comrades, Fate Inza and Garswalk. We are searching for Atala Pashar. Okay, that's so that's what you're looking for. Yes. <laughs> cool. uh-huh. All right, he goes, uh, Tala, 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 and he starts writing down a little bit of a note, and he holds it up in the air, and one of the birds swoops down and grabs it, and you kind of lose it in the mess of uh, all the birds flying around in the paper, fluttering here and there. After about a minute or two, another bird swoops in and drops off a little package beside him. And he opens it up, and he goes, uh, Tala Pashar, daughter of Zashir Pashar, sister to Asir Bashar, and he starts listing off all these facts about her, and he goes, um... Okay. Sir. And how are you going to be paying for this? I don't know, what is the With price? secrets. <laughs> he goes, oh, oh! First-timers, is it? Yes. yes. Oh, this is a fun one. Okay. So... <laughs> as you've seen in our lovely city, Many of us are merchants, correct? I guess. We here are um, <laughs> a different kind of merchant. We don't trade in relics or magic or yes, even gold. Yes. Information. We trade Continue. in information. So, if we're going to give this to you, we need something in return. Hmm. Well... <laughs> Let's discuss with my comrades over there in a little circle. We'll be right back. Tell them a story about deer. Uh, I don't <laughs> think that would be enough. <laughs> but we can yeah. tell them... Oh yeah, uh, we can tell them who slaughtered those slaves in the other inn. 
That's a shitty that's story. That's a bad idea to tell them that while we're still in the city. Whoa. I, I have a story I could tell them that would be well, definitely what, worthy of getting that. What kind of story are you looking for? Well, hey, guys, you have a story? I, I, I can tell them a little bit about my past. No, but, well, would they care? Well, let's try. There's a difference between, you know, information and... Well, well there's, information. There's, there's information. <laughs> there's information related to it. It's... There's useful information and non-useful information. You don't know Garswalk's past. I'm just, I'm just saying it's... Uh, I, I guess I ask, I mean, the guy, like... What kind of story do you want? Um, well, not just stories, just any kind of information. Since we're trading person to person, I'll need a personal story from you. So, <laughs> let's say you're looking for, what did you say you're looking for? Where she is? Yes, where can we find her? Um, hmm. well, let me think about that. And he starts flipping back through the pages he has, and he goes, uh... Well, this one doesn't look quite too expensive. Let's go with where you're from. Something. Like <laughs> My name is Garsvog, and I'm from the north. And where in the north exactly? He pulls out a little bit of a map, and he slides it across to you with a quote. Like, I'll need you to mark down on here for me. <laughs> I mark it, and I, I point out that I was one of the. Uh, I was a member of a orcish clan. Okay, and he'll ask you that... the name of the clan. The name of the clan changes depending on who's warlord at the time. It's not the same as it used to be. Uh, okay. Very loose. Right. The name, the name changes. All right. Do, uh, when was the last time you saw them? Mm, probably a year or two ago. And at the time, how strong were they? Very. Excuse me. Didn't yeah. you just want to know where he's from? Sometimes I get a little carried away. I'm sorry. And he uh, files that little bit of paper away, and you see it slip off with one of the birds further into the warehouse. And he goes, "Okay." Um, <laughs> Atala Pashar. She was last seen. Let's see here. About forty, forty-two days ago, in the company of Kamed, a merchant that appeared in the town. We still yet to get much information on Kamed. Um, she was last seen leaving the city, heading out into the Kalim with a company of Kamed. There's nothing else after that. So somewhere in the desert. Yeah, That's she's a left fuck ton of information you gave us. Seriously? This man told you about his origins? About his tribe and that's all we get? They went into the desert? I'm trying a diplomacy check. <laughs> <clears throat> Almost looks like intimidation, but alright. No. I mean, I, I'm in a no. tunic. I'm it, not very intimidating right now. Is, <laughs> is being diplomatic using in intimidation? Like, I don't know what that is. It's a very diplomatic today. intimidation. Um, 26. Wow. I, I just know how to pull that angle, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright, the man goes, okay, alright. So it may have been a bit much. Um, well, I'm sorry, but that's all the information I have about Tal. Is there anything else you'd be looking for? <laughs> well, you can tell me about the Kamed fellow, then. Does anyone know where he lives? Any associates of him? We talked to? Um, we've actually been, for the past few months, trying very hard to locate Kamed and get a little bit of information about him. You see, you're not the first ones to come and ask about him. Mm. Um... However, all we have been able to find out is what he was doing while he was here in the city. And um, that might be uh, a little bit pricier than what we have left over. How much pricier? We might need um, something like leverage. Okay. Um, <laughs> my name is Gardasvog, and I'm a former orc necromancer <laughs> from the tribes in the north, and I've slaughtered hundreds of thousands of people. Honest. That's not quite enough. We're looking for something much more personal. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I've slaughtered hundreds of thousands of good innocent people. You did what? And I'm, and I'm currently, <laughs> and I'm currently being hunted by former members of my clan. 
Hmm. And what about the rest they of you? Willing to... Oh yeah, by the way, guys, uh, hi. <laughs> well, hi. you're not evil, strangely enough. How did you... How did you turn around? Like, what did make you see the light? It's Was a story it tear? For, it's a story... No. But that's <laughs> a story for another time. I told you, Valerian, not... There's a lot of... People yeah. doing evil things that are not evil. Yeah, it's I'm more sure complicated he just, than he just cast a die and figured, well, it was uneven. I'm sure. sorry, what was your name? I'm sure you also killed a lot of people. Are you talking oh, about the old man? You will. I yeah. don't want to talk about it. Yes. And he goes, I'm, I'm sorry, we're not trading for that here today. For your name? We introduced ourselves. Yes. I thought it was all about equality. And but we're trying to earn a living here. Okay. I see well, how it is. Since you could not respond about Kemet, maybe we should ask him about the mark. Wait, well, wait I have a suggestion. He has, he has information about what Kemet was doing here. Yes, but I, I have... like this mark. Hold on. The mark. Do we yes. have enough left over for the mark? Sorry, Faith. <laughs> I have a suggestion regarding Kamed. Mm -hmm. What if we give you some information about him and what he was doing here and the rest? Perhaps you don't know what we know and we don't know what you know. Really? You know something about Kamed then? Indeed. Yes. Maybe. I'll have to hear it first. <laughs> From what he All told right. us earlier, I'm sure he knows everything that we know, but continue. Oh, it's worth a try. Well, hang came... on, hang on. Oh. Because this is information about Comed. Something yeah. they're very dire to have. So this isn't just a we tell you, he tells us thing. Oh, how do you we've already... information? Just the already... damn thing. <laughs> okay, okay. I, I tell him truthfully everything we found out about him like he came here i don't know exactly how long ago but i think he told us uh, and then that he was pursuing was this girl the... mm -hmm. yeah and then they left with pashar's girl. and that he spent a lot of money in the other shop of like sashir yeah. and that he's really rich and all that stuff yeah, that's pretty much everything but yeah yeah mm -hmm. okay You'll say, yeah, we, we've already been able to uh, find that out, but if you had something like where he lived, where we could find out more about him, that'd be, that'd be worth quite a bit. What? I thought you would... I okay, could... now we know you that you don't know. Fantastic. I... This is a <laughs> time. Tell us about the symbol. Like, show him the hand. I show him the hand. <laughs> <laughs> the hand in your bag. You don't have the hand with you. Oh, damn it, Fuck. you're right. <laughs> Um, now, do you have something to write on? So, we will, like a little sketch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so upset I couldn't whip out the hand. We don't have a bag anymore, right? <clears throat> no, no, no. Um, okay. We ask for like a quill and a piece of paper to draw the sign on. Mm -hmm. He's very willing to hand that over to you. Can I murder him? Will? <laughs> uh, <laughs> shove it in his throat? Uh, yeah, I, mean, I have. I, have I mean, my sneak walkie. attack? It's like uh, plus one to six damage. We could flank him. I've got my walking stick. That's an improvised. <laughs> well, I weapon. don't think you'll see it coming again. I have plus eight initiative. But no, I, I don't. got my don't. boots. When he's handing over that quill, um, you can see there's actually a tattoo on his wrist as well. Oh. And it's this symbol here. Oh. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. At the top right. of the paper, he'd been taking notes about, or getting ready to take notes about what you were going to tell him about combat until he realized <laughs> you didn't know much more than he did. Um, mm -hmm. All along the page is just, it's not even words, it's just numbers. Alright. I guess we just drew the, the mark on the paper. And... Mm -hmm, yeah. What can you tell us about it? We still got some information left over. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. <laughs> so this has been an interesting one, showed up several weeks around, right around the time Comed first arrived. Um, it's been called the Iron Link, 
apart from that, we haven't been able to find out who owns it, at least not that you'll be able to afford yet. And it seems to have proliferated the city quite well. Uh, you you see the about... utter disappointment about this? Mm -hmm. wow. Are you saying you don't know about the master? Or you're not willing to tell us? I don't know if you have the funds for it. Cats. Uh. Or what do we just incriminate us? You know? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, eh. We'll probably leave this disgusting city behind anyway and travel into the desert. Yeah. yeah. What? How much would the funds be? What are we talking about here? I think for this, we'll need something damning. Damning? Oh, come on, now. you all look like you travel us, quite a bit. that good enough? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I would say let's damn us. Anyone against it? I vote for damnation. I think that would not be well. Hmm. Like Valerian is twink to to you, like with one eye, like oh. well, the other guy doesn't see it. Hmm. I mean. I, 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 I like bite my tongue because I realize I didn't actually go in the inn or murder everyone, so I'm, I'm just quiet. Well, I guess before that, so, well, the thing, I, so I have my, like, bardic knowledge. I can <laughs> do it, like, once a day. <laughs> so if I roll a 20 plus, I can have, like, uh, uncommon, known by only a few people in the area, so it might be good. Yeah. You, can, can be... you have the information, come on, D20! No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, unfortunately, the... won't do it. Uh, it's <laughs> not even like 10 is something, nah, not right, 8. Screw this. Um, <laughs> Alright, you know, there was a bar fight a while ago where several <laughs> slaves got killed of the hand, like the guards were searching about it. The entire city was searching in unrest. Uh, the more you talk, the less interested he seems to appear. He goes, no, I don't, I don't think you all quite understand. Slaves die every day here. I want something about you all. Slaves of the iron. Yes, yes. But I no, can but... tell you who murdered those slaves. And who is hunted in the city. Yeah, nobody cares who kills some people. But he goes, oh, we already it know that. Every day. Uh, <laughs> how can you know that? No one is supposed to know that. Yeah, so we've already he's kind of motions oh. above his head. One of the birds flies down and drops a little bit of paper. He goes, yes, it was um, three men. Iron, Cliff, and <laughs> Macdallion? Ah, you got the wrong names. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> if I tell you the right names, will you spill out that last information about Komet? <laughs> I honestly don't know if that'd be worth it. Come on, it now. You don't forget I rolled a 19 on my diplomacy, 26 total. Mm -hmm. What if what if we added in some uh, some proof that it was us? Uh, I it, just he don't doesn't think seem too concerned much. about the death yeah. of slaves, and he goes, "Look, there must be something about you all. I don't There's know, a, a relative you murdered in a drunken rage. Yeah, yeah, like so money I've been stole from a him, dying like, on." Something like, do I think he's like good at like sensing lies or not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was. Man good. looks like it. He's born and bred for that. No, I don't want to do it. Mm, yeah, I could tell him I'm an Asimar, but I'm not willing to do that either. I don't have any like damning thing on me, so I could I could lie. I mean, I've, I've kind of already pointed out the most... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is not good enough. Not, not good enough, apparently. Yeah. I mean, I try, because I don't know. I like, is it, it's also fun for, like, um, with Valerian things. So, like, I, I tell a story about how, like, murdered in, murder in cold blood some, like, innocent people. 
like that, and that I enjoyed it. <laughs> Wait, you have to Are you lying? That shit. Yeah. Yeah, of course I'm lying. Okay. Alright, roll a good bluff. I'm gonna roll a sense motive as well. 25. Wow. <laughs> well, I don't think I can sense that. Never mind. <laughs> so I'm like telling this story because it's from the conversation be before when I said I killed people and they're like, yeah, yeah, whatever, we also killed it. So I'm like, now I'm going into like more detail and like. I just want to have fun with like Valerian and like, at the same like, time like you know he just stares blank you know you see how in his head the the wheels are cocks are turning like, like maybe my detect evil isn't working after all <laughs> I told you you should have thrown the dice <laughs> you uh, will be judged one day Insa of Chisenta Alright, the main Why point are you giving more information? To, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you see, he actually jots that down on the bit of paper in such ch a Santa. But he turns <laughs> to the guard's log. He goes, Well, it looks like you might be the only one here with enough uh, to be able to pay for this. So you mentioned killing people. Yes. Why did you stop? Mm. Why did, did Insta's thing not work at all? Oh, yeah, like. Wasn't it enough? Like, didn't he believe me also? Because it was for Valerian and the other guy also. So 25. The 25. And he goes, if we were looking for stories, we get higher bards. <laughs> 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 ah, so you lied. <laughs> <laughs> I pat the old guy on the back like, go to one. <laughs> I'm disappointed, like... I thought I got finally closer to Inza, but nah. <laughs> yeah, I still but don't it, trust her. He starts pressing it. He goes, so no. why did you stop killing people? Why did I stop? I stopped because of a realist. I stopped well, it was because... <laughs> Living with the orcs, they teach you that might makes right. Whoever's the strongest is the one who leads. Whoever's the strongest takes what they want and gets what they want, and they make the laws of the land. As an orcish necromancer, I destroyed countless lives in the name of my warlord. But when it came down to it, I was stronger. I realized I didn't care about might makes right, but that other people care about things too. And it was wrong for me to take that away from other people simply in the name of my warlord. Might does not make right. And it was that realization mm. that brought me to stop killing innocent people and instead stand as a bastion against the evil that threatens them. In my escape, if it helps at all, I killed one of my greatest friends and rose him as an undead corpse to help me in my escape and fight off Holy. the other orcs. All right, and the dark. second that comes out of your mouth, he just gets down on that penny, just starts jotting out things as quickly as can. That will pay for it. And he puts it up in the air, and that thing, before you can even blink, that paper that he had is just whisked away into the depths of the uh, factory. You so, you're looking for information about the mark. Yes. All right. And remember, if you start trading information around, it loses its value. I need you all to remember that. Why do we care? You're looking for a man <laughs> by the name of Barded Ryan. Oh, well, can we get that on a note? Can, can, we, can we get that typed down? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Barded Rhine, or Bardeed Rhine. You ever just put that in front of the uh, the link? Yep. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, I got it. I'm on top of it if I can get the whole thing selected. Good enough. There you go. Yes, Bardeed Rhine. All right, I want um, you to know, not many people know that name around here. Where can we find them? That's just the thing. We don't know either. However, oh. I'll give you some of the rumors we're vetting right now. Mm. Do you all know about the men out in the marching mountains? The ones that resist against the slave them or want to free them or something? Mm-hmm. What about them? We have some very interesting rumors coming out that Barded Rhine might be associated with them. That it may be the Genesi aren't exactly what they say they are. Mm. Mm. That would add up, I guess. 
Of course, that's just a rumor. We might be completely wrong about that, but... That what about the, the other word. stories, or... Is that the only one you got? Well, the rest are inconsequential. Probably nothing more than idle fairy tales. Well, that makes it easy. So we have to go to the into the desert and high into the mountains? Oh, Christ. <laughs> no. What? Oh, You're dear. tired enough, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> go, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. So, is there anything else I can help you gentlemen with, and lady? Blind lady. Can I get my damn walking stick back? Carver Absolutely, if you're done, you can just head back through the, uh, the atrium there, and our men will help assist you getting re-equipped, and you can be on your way. Appreciate it. Thanks for the information. Oh, you got something of great value as well, so... Come back yeah. anytime. Will do. Remember our names. He's Garshvok, <laughs> and I'm Valorion. The other two are... Well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you you, 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 have, to us, you have to give us something back for their info. <laughs> you already told him my name, and I <laughs> didn't get anything out of it. I stop, like, look over my shoulder, but you didn't write it down. It did, I like, keep walking it did. Up. it did, I heard it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I um. guess I, 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 I don't, I, I talk to the guy again, I'm like, may I ask for something? Absolutely, what would that be? I'm looking for the greatest violin ever made. The greatest violin? Hmm? Yes. Are you talking about common sale, or are we looking something more of like a uh, relic of sorts? And any will do, but oh no, we need to be specific here if we're going to deal with prices. The more value, the more valuable, the better. Okay. Well, I think I know it just what you're looking for, but we're going to need something in return, obviously. But I don't have anything more to tell you. <laughs> that sounds so sad and pathetic. Well, I'm sad and... Pathetic? Okay. You said nothing, so shut up. You hear <laughs> Valerian scream, I heard you can find one in the marching mountains! <laughs> he goes, well, if you don't have the money for it, then we'll have a pleasant day, and he just gestures to the door. I'll be back. <laughs> Please bring a secret with you then. And are you all ready to leave? Yes. All right. Yeah. Um, back in the atrium, the guys do help you get re-equipped. Sweet. Can I get you all a roll listen check for me? Absolutely. Yes. Well, I'm an Asimar. I have a bonus. Mm. Um, um, good, good, good job. A listen check. <laughs> 24. 20! <coughs> 40. <laughs> These rogues. Oh, no wonder I can't find it. I was looking through my spell list instead of my <laughs> skill list. Like, where the hell is listen? <laughs> Alright, I guess um, that's when well, guys. Hush. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is one, that's legit. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, <laughs> it's a critical fail and a negative. I don't okay. know what to say about You can't that. do everything. You can't be like great with an axe and a cast <laughs> at the same time and listen. <laughs> so, Valerian and Insa, as the um, oh, men are helping re-equip you, you think you hear them mutter something, but right as you're, right, right as you're about to catch that, Garth Vogg just lets one rip. Like, we're talking the loudest, <laughs> nastiest kind of fart you've ever heard. It's like <laughs> rippling throughout the room. <laughs> so that's how you kill thousands. Oh. <laughs> because it's a minus one, you might need to check yourself. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. But as everyone starts coughing and like the gas fills the room, they open the door and they usher you all outside as they kind of try to fan it out. <laughs> 
I and guess <laughs> big fives for big fives. <laughs> yeah, well, and as you all think. exit the door, something odd kind of happens. When you step out back out into the light, you Fresh can't even remember what the inside of the building looked like. What the mark on the guy's arm looked like. You don't even remember that there was a guy in there. All you remember is an empty warehouse and the name of Barded Ryan. Hold on, do I get a saving throw? Mm -hmm. oh. The, the, we don't remember about the whole like, trading thing? All you remember is the name Barded Rhine, and that the warehouse was empty. Well, but we remember yeah. everything we, all the other, that Barded Rhine wasn't the only information we mm -hmm. traded for. We remember everything else we traded with, right? Yeah, the information you got about Atala and, um... Okay. Do we, do we also We're remember not... the information we gave, or just no. what we got? Just what you had. Oh, so, so we don't... don't know about Shardas? Garzvog. Uh, mm -hmm. Sorry, Garzvog. <laughs> Different <laughs> game. All right. Yeah. Cool. Oh, Damn. That's <laughs> fucking awesome. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm but still but, you did, but still we still don't know country. that. Like we, we don't know that we can go in there and. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Whatever. Um, it's really hard to not meta game this. Yeah. <laughs> can we? Yeah. Right. We can keep each other in check. So many things we don't yeah. know, but we do know, but we don't know. We just oh. know we have to go into the hills, the mountains. Yep. The marching mountains to the north. Before we go, can we all check our stuff and make sure like nothing was taken? Because I'd like <laughs> to make sure I have everything. I know all your equipment's still there, and that'll actually be it for uh, this week's game. Oh, cool. All right. And right this will there. actually be a good time to level up. Oh yeah. Before See, you all head back the out to the marching Diablo mountains. level up sound.